worth every second, mate. I've watched that clip about 15 times. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shouldn't have all ages high with Shono here, but to give you another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And this video will be opening up 10 premium crystals, number 4 in a series. Eventually we'll probably expand this to be higher. We got a lot of premium crystals from the holidays, and there you can see we have 10 crystals to open up. And we're going to spin these one at a time. If we get a 4 star, I'm going to jizz myself. If I get a 2 star, I'm not going to be very happy. If we get some three stars, as long as we get some new ones, I'm okay with that. So, in the first of ten premium crystals, we receive... Ooh, is that a three-star Gambit? That's a good first start Gambit, our brand new three-star character. That's the way we want to start the premiums. New characters, three stars and above. In the second of ten premium crystals, we receive... A two star. No, a three star Hulkbuster. What the hell? Double three stars on the first two premiums. That is definitely insane luck. So, probably means we're going to get eight two stars. But yeah, if we get a four star, I'm not paying 2,500 units for a four star. You're out of your damn mind. But in the third premium crystal, we were sick. A two-star Winter Soldier. That'll awaken him, or it'll give him uh, EMP2. Okay, so he was already awakened. So, first two-star with an 85% chance, we're bound to have it, or 84%. So, the fact that we got two three-stars already means we broke the odds. So, in the fourth premium crystal, we were sick. Send a Colossus his way! A four-star Colossus? What the hell? Oh my god. Ugh. Man, well, it's a four-star. It's our first four-star we've gotten from Premium Crystal, but what the hell? Ugh. Man, fucking send a Colossus his way! Fuck! Kabam! got trolled on that one but it is a four star that we don't have so it means we're gonna get five star shards if we get them again in the future so in the fifth premium crystal we were sick another th what the hell is up with these crystals three three stars and a four star as we just pulled century another science three star oh baby well I'm definitely happy with this opening. That's our third four star that we have, so now we can actually play in the four and five star arenas, which I'm very happy about. So on the sixth of ten premium crystals, we receive. Already our luck has been insane tonight. A three star morning star. What in the world is up with these crystals? That is our fourth three star and a four star with only a single two star. I mean, look at this so far. Five new champions, only one duplicate, which is Winter Soldier. That is insane. And we got four more to open up, ladies and gentlemen. In the seventh premium crystal, we were sick. Oh my god. A three star kingpin. What the hell is up with these crystals? Another brand new character. We just got like five three stars in a row. Almost. Jesus. Alright, in our eighth premium crystal, we reset. Are we even going to get a two star? Yep, we got an Age of Ultron vision. We almost got a Punisher 2099 four star. And I'm not even upset about that two star because it's a brand new one. And in our ninth premium crystal, we were sick. There's still a couple two stars I don't have from this. Any new character is welcome. Hawkeye, okay. So that'll bring him up to ability two, I believe. Nope. Hemorrhage three. 
All right, so we've only gotten two duplicates, and that's like our third two-star out of nine crystals. So in the 10th premium crystal, we were sick. A two-star Magneto, that'll awaken him. I would have liked to have gotten that two-star Star Lord, as I don't have him, so that'll awaken his refraction. But yeah, that's insane. Seven new champions out of ten. And a four-star, five three-stars, and a two-star Age of Ultra. That is insane. Holy crap, that's insane. And we have another ten more crystals to open up in the next video as we have 20,000 premium hero crystals. But yeah, that is insane. Let's check out all these brand new characters. We got a four-star Colossus, 814 power. It's actually pretty high. Even though I heard that Colossus is a dumpster bin. So, 3,434 health base, 241 attack. Yeah, his crit chance is really low. His block chance isn't that great. 9.1% armor. That, I guess, is one saving grace. So, he has a drop kick. Damage for the attack is based on current armor levels. Damage increases by up to 130% based on overall armor. And the attack also deals reduced damage while under effective armor reduction. So, being if you have an armor debuff, you're going to do less damage. And more armor levels, and yeah. Just seems really bad there. So, the synergy is 130 armor rating with Old Man Logan and Wolverine. 155 critical rating with Juggernaut. 5% health with Magic, who I don't have. And the Organic Steel, Pyrrhus Organic Metal Skin Shapes and Strengthens to his Will with no limit. And he's also immune to bleed, so there is some merit behind him, for example, against blades. So, I don't know if we're going to actually level him up. I mean, it is a mutant class, so that is going to help for farming those events. So, there is some merit behind that. Um, next up, we have Morningstar, who I originally got on my third account. Uh, Morningstar has synergy with Guillotine. And if Morningstar is less than two capture souls, she gains one. Meaning that if you have zero... You would gain one. I don't know how that works. And soul charges take 10 seconds longer to expire. And with Mephisto, you start the fight with one bar power. As we know in other games, starting a fight with one bar power could be game changing. And Mephisto starts with a soul. So, pretty interesting character. Four, or a three star Morning Star base has 1,455 health, 106 damage, which is really low. And crit rating, crit damage is really low. Block proficiency, not that great. But character's all right. We got Sentry as well. This is a science class. 1,442 health, 108 damage. 18.4% crit, 165.1 damage, 60.2 block, 3.4 armor. The Synergy, 95 armor rating with Black Widow, Vision, Hawkeye, Captain America. 90 critical damage rating with Hulk, who I only have as a one star. And the signature ability, Reality Warps, persists from fight to fight, and Sentry has a chance to get indestructible when he loses a combo. So, at the start of the fight, and after every 40 hits on a combo, Sentry gains a Reality Warp, stacks up to five max. Reality Warps are used as a multiplier for his abilities, probably like a damage buff. So, interesting. Definitely something I'm gonna wanna play around with, even though it's only a three star. Um, we also got Gambit, a brand new character. Um, looks like low end of stats, 1,386 health, 109 damage. Does have pretty good crit and damage, 20.3, 170.9. So definitely a good critter. Um, with X-23, Wolverine, 95 armor. With Nightcrawler and Beast, 4% perfect block chance. So not really that good synergy. If you need the armor, it's whatever. And the Raging Cajun Le Diable Blank gains increased critical damage from its prowess buffs. It gets an upgrade to his flak jacket to make it last longer in battle. So, blocking Gambit changes weapons while holding block, gaining a kinetic charge for every half second he has an attack. Whenever Gambit is struck by a combo ending an attack, he has a 50% chance to fold and lose all his kinetic charges. And on heavy attacks, Gambit cashes out, converting his kinetic charges, prowess buffs, each increasing special damage. By 18%. So it's kind of like Hyperion. How you want to charge a heavy attack into a special move. Because if you have a lot of uh, prowess buffs. You're going to do a lot of extra damage. 
Uh, Gambit's unique armor grants him 479.49 physical resistance and 22% bleed resistance. Once Gambit has lost 20% of his max health from physical damage, the armor breaks. So, basically, it's only useful at high health. And Gambit's ability accuracy increased by 2%. So, yeah, he's got Paralyze, Concussion, and Stun. And chance of stun increases based on how low the opponent's armor is. So if you have, like, armor breaks, that'll help out quite a bit. Uh, next up, we have Kingpin as a brand new three-star. And we have Lars Sullivan, who has synergy with the Hood and Joe Fix-It. Uh, Kingpin has a 15% rage conversion chance of the Hood, 20% invisibility duration. Joe Fix-It, 15% attack while the opponent has a debuff. And Bane of Hell's Kitchen, Kingpin, heavy attacks gain... 60% attack and cannot trigger a passive evade, meaning Spider-Man's evade, Black Widow's evade, Ultron's evade. So, if you have Daredevil, 40% armor break duration, which means that your armor break is going to last longer. Be great with Spider-Man, if you had something like that. And Daredevil Classic, 40% precision buff duration. So if you have Daredevil in either form, Kingpin is going to gain a lot of attack. So it seems like Daredevil at Kingpin is going to be really good. But that's only on heavy attacks, but yeah, I think his heavy attacks are okay. The so signature ability is True Nature. Fisk see, sets his ill intent upon the contest, beginning the fight with Rage already active on himself. He also gains the ability to recover some Rage after finishing his overpower mode. Uh, whenever Kingpin gains a buff, he has a 50% convert convert into a permanent Rage that has no effect. Each debuff and rage on Kingpin only strengthens the resolve, increasing the attack by 27 and power gain rate by 5%. Um, and whenever the opponent evades, he gains a rage every 1.5 seconds. And overpower buff of Kingpin's debuffs and rages combined to equal 8. He converts them into an overpower buff, lasting 12 seconds and increasing his attack by 270. While in overpower mode, Kingpin's special attacks become unblockable and he cannot gain rage. So, 8 seconds of unblockable seems really good for special attacks. And while charging a heavy attack, basically if you get uh, punished with a heavy, you're going to take a lot less damage. And if he somehow gains 3 heavy attacks within 2.5 seconds, he gains Fury, increases his attack by 81 for 10 seconds. And while he has this Fury buff, he cannot become unstoppable. So, basically you'd have to land a stun... So, meaning you probably have to do a special 2 and then just spam it. Because when you're in Unstoppable, if you're getting attacked, your animations are going to continue. So, it's basically how you do it. Special 2 into that. And I don't know how good it is, but it is what it is. So, we awaken Magneto. And his refraction is level 1. Where bends a dense electromagnetic field around his body to create a personal force field, preventing him from losing more than 40% health from a single source. I imagine that number goes up, or it probably goes down as you get the ability up. So at 40%, let's use an item. Let's see what happens when we add one level. I imagine it has diminishing returns. Um, I used it. Why did, do I have to back out? Okay. Okay. So now it says 36.12% health. So if you can get it down to like 10%, that could be great against like really high damaging bosses. So I don't know. I mean, some people say Magneto's not very good, but it seems like it could be good at a disadvantage. Like if you're using Magneto against uh, the strike classes, it could be okay. Um, who else did we get? We got Vision brand new. Uh, synergies with Vision... Uh, Scarlet Witch, 85 critical rating, and Iron Man, 4% health. I still don't have him as a 2-star, which is unfortunate. And, yeah, that's basically it. But we got quite a few 3- and 4-stars. That definitely is going to help out for playing versus. And, for example, now we can actually enter the 4- and 5-star versus, courtesy of Colossus. So we can actually enter... The 3 vs 3 Dark Force Arena and actually start farming that now. Is it going to be easy to farm 75,000? No, but if we can gain those multipliers, it's going to be really good. So let's do a quick fight with these three. It's going to be an easy matchup. Let's match him against Winter Soldier and let's match him against Hulk. 
send a Colossus his way. So yeah, very excited that we got four star, like that we got any four star. I know Colossus is not the greatest of all time, but I imagine starting out he's gonna have some use. Again, if a mutant event comes up where you gotta use mutant champions, Colossus is gonna shine there for sure. Because I'll be able to get score easier. He's gonna kick out Winter Soldier, and that's our first victory with a 23 hit combo. Alright, 1253 points there. Now, when you actually have a lot of high end four star champions, you're getting like 40, 50,000 score from one match. So, my 1200 is garbage. You're talking champions that have like 12,000 power at five stars. So, it gets pretty insane. Man, these are standard 1x multiplier matches, nothing to brag about. But, yeah, if we can get the 75k multiplier, I'm going to be really happy because that's going to mean more units that we can farm. So we can use the 4 and 5 stars in this versus. We have more 3 and 4 stars used in other versus. And, yeah, if I can farm some multiplier rewards, why not? First time we actually got hit during this match. Let's get off the special too and get some ants all over him. There it is. That's going to start doing some dot damage over time on uh, War Machine. Let's get off the one. I don't think that's going to be enough to finish him off. Nope. There's a super move from War Machine, but I don't think that should do that much damage. Probably about 30%. Eh, about 40%. Still no problem at all. Would have been a bigger problem if he had like 2,000 power, but at 847, he could easily handle it. Yeah, what type of rewards do we actually get from the 4 and 5 star Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk Arena? I know it might be too late to actually get the 75k milestone, but we could make an effort for that next series of arena matches. Especially now that we have higher level champions that we can use in other events. So that's going to open up a lot of doors. So the rewards at 75k, uh, 1,200 premiums, uh, 5 units, 1,000 arena tokens. Yeah, nothing that great. But if you can get the rank rewards here, you're always going to guarantee yourself extra 4-star shards. So why not? If you like this video on 10 premium crystals, number 4 in a series, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Marvel Contest of Champions videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shown on my Instagram, which is Hollywood Show Knows God, and another 10 premium crystals highly doubt I'm going to have the same kind of luck is up next. Leave your comments down below. Who, let me know who you think I'm going to get out of these next 10, and have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches!